today I'm here at Iguazu Falls and I have with me here this beauty. This is a 100 to 400 mil lens. This telephoto lens I have borrowed from a friend, uh, Kadu. Kadu is also one of my students from my uh, long exposure photography workshops. And he lent me this lens uh, so I could uh, try So the reason I'm using this lens is because I want to uh, go more intimate with the landscape. Instead of using um, a wide angle lens, I'm, I will be using here mostly uh, this telephoto lens. So I can go through a range from uh, 100 to 400 millimeters. And this place is amazing, it's incredible and there's a lot of energy, a lot of power and I think I'm, I'm in the wrong season. It's a little rainy here, uh, it's uh, October and uh, it's not the ideal time to come here but I'm trying to go deeper in the compositions, more intimate. So I'm trying here, uh, it's early in the morning so there's a uh, few people here, uh, maybe some tourists it's a very, very touristy area, uh, which I personally don't like. So by using this telephoto lens, I can see more details in the landscape. It's, uh, it's more difficult to do a composition, but uh, you can isolate better uh, some aspects of the landscape. So let's see what we've got here. A nice feature of this lens is the ability to quickly change from landscape to portrait mode by rotating the color. Unfortunately, the first day here, I wasn't attracted by any particular composition, probably due to the intense fog on the landscape. So I decided to relax and enjoy some swimming. Morning, everyone. I, I, I woke up early today and I'm here on the outskirts of uh, Iguazu Falls again. Uh, and I thought that uh, due to this uh, mist here, these clouds, they came from the, uh, I think from the waterfalls here, from Devil's Throat. And it produces a huge mass of water. And uh, as you can see, there's kind of a um, misty region. It's only there. And well, I thought to myself, why, um, why not waking up early and try to uh, try to take some photos here in the jungle, where we can see, where we can try to isolate some some trees, subjects, or I don't know anything that uh, came to my attention, and um, try again with the big telephoto lens, with the 100 to 400 mil. And but I, I, <laughs> I cannot find any compositions. So I really tried here. I've been I like 20 minutes here trying and I, I, I at this specific area here I, I can I can't seem to find anything. So what I'm going to do is uh, wait uh, for the breakfast and uh, oh, by the way, today is going to be a really, really sunny day. So today I'm going to do the upper part of the uh, Iguazu Falls. And also I'm going to t probably uh, take the train that goes further away to Devil's Throat. Let's see <laughs> how it goes today. What, I, what I've learned yesterday by shooting with the 100 to 400 millimeters lens is that it's really <laughs> difficult. Uh, it's much more difficult that, to find compositions uh, than when you're with um, 70 to 200 lens. It's, uh, it's a, you get more abstract, you get even more detail in the landscape, so you can create um, 
more different patterns, shapes, and uh, more abstract images. And today, uh, my intention is to try to explore more of that um, on the waterfalls, and not only on the waterfalls, but try to do some long exposures with the uh, extreme range, like 400 millimeters. Let's have some breakfast and shoot something later. What first came to my attention was this uh, rainbow here. It's beautiful because there, there's two waterfalls here and, and the rainbow is uh, between them. Um, it, uh, the sunlight goes straight into the waterfall. And due to the, uh, to the water spray, it's really, really difficult to get a composition without getting your lens moist, full of water in front of the lens. So I first framed my composition with my cell phone. Uh, I did some wide angle shots and now I'm going to look for those intimate details here uh, using the telephoto lens. After framing my composition, I have placed a lens cap in front of the lens in order to avoid any spray getting in the front of the lens. Then I took off the cap, placed the filter holder and shoot. Well, that was incredible. I have never seen uh, two waterfalls with uh, a beautiful rainbow between them. When something gets in the way of my composition, I, well, there are two things that I can do. Manually remove it, <laughs> or as I did here, I incorporated it in my composition. So I framed this um, little trunk here in the middle of the waterfall.
Well, after this last shot, the upper trail got so crowded, but I couldn't go back since I was almost at the end of the trail, so I had to have a lot of patience. One tip that I can offer you is when using longer exposures with this lens to get a very sturdy and stable tripod and also use a 10 second timer and pray that no one is moving in the platform. 